I'm Herman Kingma and I'm the inventor of the balance belt. I designed the balance belt for people with very poor vestibular organs. When people have no vestibular organs, they find it very difficult to walk and to have a good vision while they are moving. The reason is that the labyrinths, the vestibular organs, detect in your head where gravity is constantly and automatically. And when you lose those organs, you don't feel it so precisely anymore. So you are at risk to fall and you have much more problems to walk straight on. So I designed then the balance belt which is provided with a sensor that detects where gravity is and then results in activation of small vibrators around your waist. So when you move forward, you get a small vibration in the front. When you move backwards, when you tilt backwards, you get vibration on the back and on the side and on the side. So by that, you automatically feel again where gravity is and the brain starts to use that in an automatic way to improve your balance and gait. And by that, your balance becomes better. The chance to fall will decrease and everything becomes more automatic. Now I'm going to explain to you how you should use the balance belt. So number one is when you look at the belt, you can see on the top of it, of this button, that there is a small lead. And that is something that you hold on top of it and the knot on the left side. So now you put it around your waist and then you attach like this. So when it's firmly attached around your waist, it makes good contact with your body so that you really feel the vibrations. So it's very important to wear a very thin t-shirt, also to protect, of course, the belt a little bit against the sweating and things like that. But to make sure that there is a good contact and that you really feel the vibrations. Now you can place the belt at different places, you can put it lower or higher, it doesn't make a big difference. But of course, don't put it here over a normal regular belt, because then you don't feel the vibrations. Don't put it over the top of your trousers, because again, there the tissue is a little bit thicker and you will find it more difficult to feel the vibrations. If you have a big belly, then generally it's better to put the belt on top a little bit higher, so that, doesn't, that it doesn't slip away. Okay, when you have positions the belt in the right way, we can start to activate it. So number one is you push on the button here on the top and you push long until you see the blue LED flashing and then you feel the vibration going around you. Then you release the button and now automatically it starts to flash green and by that, you know that the belt is calibrated. What does that mean? It means that now the system knows what is horizontal and what is vertical. Because you can put the belt in different ways around your body and the belt needs to know what is vertical. You can repeat that if something went wrong, if you were standing like this a little bit when you attached the belt. So you can repeat it by pushing very short on the bottom again, it starts to flash again green and now it's calibrating again. That takes only a second or so. So a brief pushing the, the bottom. The LED is, as you can see here, flashing four times, which also indicates that the battery is 100%, 100% full. When it flashes only three times, it's 75% and two times is 50% and one time, as you understand, 25%. So when it's flashing only one time, take it off, switch it off and put it on the charger. I will show you later how to do that precisely. So then it can be recharged, takes a few hours, five, six hours, and then you can use the belt again for about 16 hours or something like that. So normally, when you charge the belt every day, during the night, for example, you will never have a problem. 
So now it's activated and when I tilt, I feel all the time the vibrations around me. When I make, let's say, a movement like this, I feel the vibrations moving around my body. It's impossible to make the belt silent all the time, almost impossible. So that is something that you will not experience. So when you start to walk and move, you feel it vibrating all the time. But that's good, because now the brain has a new reference that can help you to improve your balance and gait. And by the belt, your balance and gait will improve. Don't pay attention to the vibration, because then it becomes disturbing. For some people, that is difficult to neglect it. Also, it may be a small sound that you can hear, because vibration is also sound. Yeah, that's a compromise between you need to feel it and you might hear it a little bit. But don't pay attention to it. and Most people will, in a few days, learn to walk around without paying too much attention to it. Now, you can switch the belt off at the end of the day, for example. Again, you push long, it starts to flash in blue, and you don't feel any vibration anymore. So remember, switching on is always pushing long until it starts to flash and you feel the vibration. It makes a round, 360 degrees, then it stops, it calibrates automatically, green flashes, also indicating the status of the battery. I can recalibrate by pushing short. If I push long, automatically it will be switched off. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can charge the battery in the belt. So first of all, you make sure that the belt is off, so it doesn't work anymore. I detach it, and then if you look carefully, you can see the connector here of the USB-C. So you take the cable and the charger, you connect the cable with the charger here, you put it on the power, and what you can see is that the LED is activated, indicating that the battery is charging takes about five to six hours before it's fully charged. It keeps on in the same color, it keeps on being illuminated all the time, so it doesn't indicate when it's full. After five, six hours, just detach it. And then the battery will be fully charged.